Forbearance. That's a word you use every day, right? No, you don't. <laughs> Most people have never even heard of the forbearance unless they saw it in the Bible somewhere or when you have a home loan. Because forbearance simply means to be tolerant or lenient or to wait on someone, which is what the lender has to do when one calls for forbearance. But the borrower then in turn forbears or waits on making a house payment up to four months during that forbearance period. Is this really a good thing for me to do? Well, first of all, realize that anytime you skip a house payment, it's easy to skip it the next month. We lose discipline and the money sits in the bank account and we have a false picture of how much we actually have to spend. And that money sometimes can be put toward other things we think we need or very frivolous things we do not need. Also realize that when a person stops making a house payment, it goes beyond the four months and then we become a candidate for a short sale or ultimately a foreclosure. Either way, losing the house and all the equity that we might have stored up in the house payments we had previously made. And please understand, making a partial house payment does not help either. For if you make a payment beyond 30 days after your payment is due, if it's due on April 1 and you don't make it past May 1st, you're going to have a 30 day late. We say, but I made a partial payment. That's like not making a payment at all as far as the credit report is concerned. Then you have 60, then you have 90 because you're always making partial payments. You're always running behind, which is just as bad as forbearance. Realize also the, the home loan is a promise. When you walked away from the title company, you had your keys in your hand and you're all excited about your new home. Well, guess what? You made a promise to someone. The investor who's buying that loan trusts you that you're going to have the integrity and the honesty to pay them back because they're taking their money and investing it in you now, hoping to gain interest over a long period of time for the risk that they took to help you. So you help them by paying them back on time and showing your character and your integrity. Realize also that the underwriter may down the line look at forbearance or partial payments or ultimately people who are late on their payments and that can cause one to be ineligible to buy a house or to refinance their current home. So what can you do during this time? Tighten the belt. Tighten the belt because you get Corona cash money right now from the government anywhere from $1,200 or 24 or adding in another 500 for each child. That money could be set aside in a savings account out of sight, out of mind where you could draw from it only when you need to make your house payment and things become tight. If you're furloughed or you're laid off, you're going to, in most cases, receive some unemployment income, often 60% of your gross income. Money can be uh, spent through living at home, uh, working at home. In many cases, people um, are saving hundreds of dollars a month just on gasoline costs and maintenance to go to work. And with restaurants closed, many of us don't even have the opportunity to eat out, saving hundreds, maybe altogether, eight, six, eight hundred thousand dollars in not spending gasoline money or eating out money. This is money further that can be set aside in savings and utilized to make sure you never have to request forbearance on anything. And this makes sure that you can uh, not have to waste any time on any unnecessary purchases, but just be responsible to tighten the belt and live a little more frugal until the economy begins to pick up again. Therefore, your principal interest taxes insurance payment is going to be covered. And you will be the one doing it by being disciplined and you will never need forbearance. I'm Greg Bridgman, serving as a home lender since 1992 from O'Fallon, Missouri to O'Fallon, Illinois and beyond to all 50 states. I would love to be your home lender. Thank you for listening to my presentation.